Hey guys, Moplugs here. Thanks for clicking on that video in advance, and I hope you're all having a good day. We're going to be counting down the top 10 smartest NPCs in RuneScape, and there are thousands and thousands of NPCs all over RuneScape, so obviously picking 10 of them was very hard, but I think I got a good list here. And since there are so many NPCs in RuneScape to choose from, if you guys want a part 2 to this, definitely include who you think is the smartest NPC in RuneScape and why down in the comment section. And I would definitely love to make a part 2 to this video, which technically would no longer make it a countdown video. But that's the glory of YouTube, we can do what we want when we want to do it, so let's get the countdown started now! <laughs> Number 10, Harold Death Esquire, aka simply Death, or the Grim Reaper, is a legendary guardian of Gothics who is responsible for reaping the souls in Gylenor. Found in his office north of Draenor Village, Lodestone with his pet skeleton hellhound Muncher, he actually acts as a death tutor for new players explaining how death mechanics actually work, specifically about item losses and gravestones. Within lore, though, he was supposedly the very first person to ever die in Gylenor of old age, presumably meeting his end during the First Age. Obviously, being around for so many years and knowing so much about the infinite and unknown possibilities about the death factor of life itself, he is definitely one of the smartest NPCs in RuneScape, but perhaps what makes him one of the most smartest is the fact that he literally has a PC inside of his house. I'd be scared to check his browsing history, although it looks like it's a Windows 96 that has already been blue screened. Maybe he isn't that smart. Number 9. The Gnome Child, the Lord and Savior of RuneScape, apparently. <laughs> if you have seen the popular memes associated with this guy. Anyway, the reason why I have chosen this little guy to be among the most of the smartest NPCs is simply because of the riddles and off chance that when speaking to him, he will tell you about the coming of a new world from the underground. The Gnome Child could be speaking of Arposandra, which is a hidden city in RuneScape and very little information is known about it. It was founded late in the Fourth Age by a gnome after he was banned from the gnome stronghold. But anyway, why would children even know about a place like that? This little guy also offers some riddles that will really make you think. <laughs> For example, he was making wine with raisins, and I asked him why, and he said, so I don't have to wait for it to age, duh. <laughs> he also offers some very constructive life advice too for such a young child. Number 8, Posty Pete. He can apparently speak over 1,000 languages, including Wyvern, one of the most ancient languages in RuneScape. According to Baba Yaga, a member of the Moon Clan on Lunar Isle, Posty Pete's crafting level is 1, however this is debatable because in a letter's response to a player, he states that he completed the Lost City quest, which does require level 31 crafting. Somehow he managed to get around having to get the Draymond Staff from that one tree on Entrana. It's also possible that he is a spy or a scout for the Imperial Guard of Asgarnia because of the conversations players can have with him while at the Bandit camp in the desert. He is definitely one of the smartest NPCs and also one of the most mysterious. Number 7. The Lumbridge Guide or Sage as he is known now in RuneScape 3. Not only is he a guide for new players, but he is also the only NPC that can teleport moderators to the infamous secret player moderator room, which means he is a most trusted NPC, and along with that, at his little stall area in Lumbridge, he has a Ceridoman Owl, which implies that his summoning level is at least over 70. According to Postbag from the Hedge number 39, he had several professions also before becoming the Lumbridge Guide. He has been a history teacher, a traveling dictionary salesman, and an encyclopedist. His most recent job though before receiving Sagehood was working at the Varrock Library, but he left apparently due to him and Reldo not always seeing eye to eye, thus the result of him now living in Lumbridge. He was also, with his new graphical update release, the first NPC ever to have the ability to be able to blink his or her eyes in RuneScape. He definitely is one of the most experienced and most smartest of humans within RuneScape. Number 6. Thurgo, the Imkondo Dwarf near Port Serum and the Master of Smithing. He's involved in several quests and in RuneScape 3 can actually help you upgrade your items like upgrading a Coral Crossbow into a Royal Crossbow, or if players take their Gilded Dragon Pickaxes to him, he can upgrade it into an Incomdo Pickaxe, which can sometimes instantly incinerate ore as you mine it, rewarding with smithing experience equivalent to smelting that specific ore. In addition, this angry little dwarf has definitely got to be one of the most smartest NPCs in RuneScape because he really is one of the last living Incondo Dwarves, meaning he somehow has avoided his own species' extinction. 
Species, did I say that right? Doesn't matter. However, it can be debated that he is not that bright, because when first asking him if he is in fact an Mkondo dwarf, he replies quite rudely, and he is suspicious of you. However, if you ask him just simply about his smithing cape, he openly starts talking about his species, as if he was never even angry to begin with. <laughs> Number 5. The Wise Old Man, aka Dionysius, or Dissy is a legendary and very powerful magician of Ceridoman and is a former adventurer who currently chooses to reside in Drainer Village. It's debatable whether he is smart or not because he literally lives right across from the bank that he robbed and he has never fled. However, he has managed not to ever get caught or detained, so there's always that. Although he claims to be a retired adventurer, he is one of the most common reoccurring NPCs in RuneScape through quests. Dionysius used to be a famous hero in his youth also, saving countless lives and fighting back the dark forces of Gylenor. Upon retirement, feeling like he was not rewarded enough for his prior adventurers in his youth, however, he is reluctant to give out any information about his skills or how he learned them. Even in his old age, Dissy is unrivaled in his adept skills of hand-to-hand -hand combat, displaying once how he simply just kicked the Calphite Queen and shattered her shell, and with the Ceridoman staff in hand, he is five times as more deadly. Also, I feel I should just point out that he even has the word wise in his name. I had to include him. <laughs> Number four, bankers. Obviously, these guys have to be smart to be able to do what they do, right? The reason bankers are on this list is because they always keep track of our specific items, even though there are millions of accounts registered on RuneScape from loads of different time generation points. You should feel special because bankers will literally never forget who you are, ever. And what further confuses me, but is an aspect that definitely adds to their intelligence, is the fact that they can only hold like 600 to 800 items or so for you, right? Yet, let's say a player wanted to store like 10,000 cannons in their bank. They could do it, and the bankers would never complain once. They don't even get lunch breaks, man. Number 3. Reldo Trimley, the Librarian of Varrock Palace. He is 28 years old, meaning he was born in the year 141 or 142 of the 5th age, and he is quite young, but is definitely among the wisest of all people in RuneScape. He receives questions from players in almost every single post bag from the Hedge, and he also even claims to have been the one who taught King Rold of Varrock Palace himself how to read though it's not clear whether this is true or not. In the return to Canifis novel, it is revealed also that Reldo has quite an astonishing memory, able to recite anything he has ever read with ease, although he does have trouble recalling images in his mind, and although he has demonstrated many times in his adeptness at his job, he never fully gained the respect or trust of his mentor, which is revealed too. And this makes me wonder who exactly his mentor was. Number two, this freaking noob who somehow managed to get a legend cape at a combat level of 27. What the f? <laughs> I'm done. Uh, just kidding. The real number two is, of course, Wizard Frederick Trailborn. His first name, Frederick, was revealed by Jagex along with the fact that he is very sensitive about it and often does not want to tell others what it is. Literally, nobody can understand what this man says but he is considered to be an insane genius. In fact, according to Trailborn in the second post bag from the Hedge ever, he was born in the year of Dumdy in a town of what's it. He worked under Hoosis and as a doodad before deciding to thing a whatchamacall. <laughs> what the hell? I'm speechless. Anyway, this man apparently can see what no other human can see also in RuneScape, which is monsters called Thingamawats. He appears honestly to possess more power than anyone in RS, and he has roles in Defender of Varrock, Love Story, and having such magical proficiency that even the wise old man doesn't possess. And this is in fact the reason as to why the wise old man hesitates his attack towards Wizard's Tower for so long. Many people see him as a delusional old man, but what if he is so powerful and so smart that he just seems dumb to all of us, but instead we're the dumb ones? Number one. Okay guys, I've listed off some of the smartest NPCs in RuneScape. Now who could possibly even come close to measuring up to all the ones who I have just mentioned? Who is the smartest? Who possesses the most brain power in all of Gylenor? This guy. That's right. He's not a wizard, a warrior, 
an immortal being or a god or anything special, really. He's an average, hard-working man of Barok within the Blue Moon Inn. He is the bartender, but he has the drop on all of us. When you ask him where an adventurer might make his fortune at, he tells you that he won't give you any information, which might make the computer game any easier. And he continues on to try to explain that a computer is a magic box in which you can do all sorts of cool stuff in, but nobody seems to believe him in RuneScape. He is, without a doubt, the most smartest and most self-aware character in all of RuneScape. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed this video, why not leave a like down below, it really helped me out a lot, and it gets our name out there for people to see us, so if you wanna, please do leave a like, I've told you who my smartest NPCs are, what are yours, post in the comments below who you believe to be the smartest NPC of them all is, thanks for watching guys, have a good week, since tomorrow is Monday, and I will talk to all of you really soon.